What's going on everybody, it's Jack. Welcome back to this week's video. Today is the start of my two week mini cut. It is currently Thursday, January 6th. I had planned to do this um, around January 2nd or 3rd, but I actually got back from Dallas. I was down there for the Cotton Bowl and New Year's Eve. Came back a little sick. You probably still hear it in my throat, just a touch. So I wasn't feeling 100%. I wanna make sure when I started this cut, I was 100% or at least close to it. So I gave myself a couple days to relax, recover, eat plenty of food, hydrate, all that good stuff. But now is the time to kick off a mini cut. I've been bulking for about four and a half, five months. In December, I let myself go a little bit to be completely honest with you. I was eating a lot of high sugar foods. I was eating a lot of desserts. I wasn't working out or training as hard. So we have a little bit of a belly now. I'll show you guys my physique check. First things first though, we gotta do our weigh in. So I'll do that real quick. I'll take the shirt and sweatshirt off. And it is very cold in the garage, even with the heat on. So, as you guys just saw, 176.2 is going to be our starting point. I'll do a quick physique check as well. As you guys can see in this starting point physique check, I have a little bit of belly fat that I definitely want to try to lose. It might be leanish in some people's eyes, maybe to the non-gym goer, but in my eyes, I definitely see around the waist, love handles, low back, um, even the chest and arms, definitely a little bit of fat that I want to trim. I definitely don't regret that my December at all had an absolute blast with my family, ate all kinds of food, didn't really track anything, high calorie foods that taste really good, alcohol, going out with friends, all that good stuff, typical of your kind of December holidays but I definitely want to get back on track, get back to the point where I can call myself a quote unquote fitness YouTuber or someone that is on the healthier, leaner side. So hopefully we can take this level of lean, get a little bit more shredded over these next two weeks. And yeah, that's our starting point. So I'll quickly go over how I structured my mini cut or like two weeks in a deficit. And to start off, this is an extreme deficit. This is not necessary to perform a mini cut, but I wanted to see as much results and lose as much body fat as I could, essentially without dying in the next two weeks. So I started out at a thousand calories. If you see my full day of eating, it was basically protein, vegetables, and a little bit of fruit. That is the diet of choice. So in order to hit those thousand calories and keep my protein as high as I could around the 130 to 150 mark, it was essentially egg whites, lean proteins like chicken and some yeah fruits and vegetables. As you guys saw, I'll link that full day of eating down below. I was able to do this for about five, maybe six days. And I decided, you know what, this is almost too extreme. I was losing weight at almost a pound a day, if not more. And I was like, this might not be the best and I'm not feeling the best, so I decided to bump those calories up a little bit, and I went from 1,000 calories a day up to around 13 to 1,500 a day. I have a full day of eating at 1,400 a day, which essentially is, once again, protein, vegetables, with a little bit of carbs added in. That carb bump was great. It slowed my fat loss a little bit, but nonetheless, I felt a lot better and was able to have better performance in the gym, and just all around a more fun two weeks in an extreme deficit, if that makes sense. So that was my calories and macronutrients, focusing on whole foods, as well as protein shakes. Protein shakes 100% saved the protein intake for me. Transparent Labs, you guys can see right there, Co Perez for 10% off. I would have one protein shake every day after my workouts. And then as far as cardio, a lot of people were asking if I did extra cardio outside. I did not do any sort of cardio for these two weeks. You could, if you wanted to, eat a little bit more and do some cardio to have the same effect of a extreme deficit. But I wanted to make sure that all my energy was put towards weightlifting in the gym and maintaining my muscle. So the only actual cardio I do outside the gym was maybe take my dog for a walk, that kind of thing. Next, we'll move on to the weight training, lifting, whatever you want to call it. But in the gym, I was in the gym six days a week, push, pull legs, push, pull legs, rest on Sundays. And as far as my total volume, I brought it down a little bit. I decreased the number of sets, working sets I did per exercise, but I would still keep the amount of exercises, the amount of reps the same, keeping my intensity as high as I could, making sure I'm pushing myself to maintain the muscle I had. I didn't really feel any sort of strength loss until maybe like the last one or two days with my squat. Outside of that, my incline dumbbell press stayed the same, my lat pull down stayed the same, and my strength was pretty much there the, the entire time. I credit most of that just being it's two weeks, it's not an extended period of time, you're not gonna lose that much energy or strength or feel many side effects within two weeks 
unless you're at an extreme deficit, which I was. So that's why I felt a little bit at the very end. Next, we can take a look at the weight graph I've created. So this takes every weigh in I've had over the last 14 days and just graphs them out so you guys can have a better visual. So starting out at 176.2, you can see the majority of the weight loss happened in the, the first three to four days. This is a lot of water weight, excess, water that I'm carrying and just emptying out my system. And then at around day five, I also upped my calories again. So you can see the weight loss stalled or at least slowed a little bit and then started to pick up again around day 11. I'm sure if I were to continue to eat around 14, 1500 calories, the weight loss would have continued. But this just represents that weight loss is not linear. There are some ups and downs. If I had a bigger meal at dinner, I saved all my calories to go out to eat, whatever it was, might change that way in the next morning, as well as the time you weigh yourself. There are a lot of variables, but overall you can see that if you're in a deficit, at the end of the day, you're definitely gonna lose weight over time. Then if we look at a side-by-side -side comparison, hopefully you guys can tell the difference between day one and day 14. I am very pleased with these results. It was a lot of work, I will say. In two weeks, although it seems like a very little amount of time, when you are at this extreme deficit, you are pretty hungry. You have those mental cues to eat. You kind of have to fight a little bit. A lot of willpower, I will say, but I'm very pleased with the results. I think I went from a relatively lean to the average viewer to, dare I say, shredded, although I've been much more shredded in the past. I am very pleased with the results. This is gonna be a great spot for me to enter back into my lean bulk for the next four or five months before the summer. And I mean, you don't wanna be fat over the summer, so we might have another mini cut before that. But I definitely wanna focus on gaining a lot of substantial size and mass over the next year, year and a half. So these mini cuts here and there will just help me bring that body fat percentage down, lose my double chin, and sharpen up the abs and obliques a little bit along the way. And I'll quickly wrap up the video here. I'm sure just a single side-by-side -side comparison is enough for you guys to understand the two-week transformation, but I wanted to make a video and to show you guys exactly how I went about it. Calories, training, cardio, which there was none of, but an extreme deficit to achieve a truly in my opinion, I think a pretty dramatic two week transformation. I wanted to show you guys exactly the weights I had, the meals I was eating, all that kind of stuff. But this was a little bit of experiment for me. I saw coach Eugene Teo actually posted his mini fat loss transformation. He did this for about four weeks and he was at the 1000 to 1200 mark for four weeks straight. And that is actually insane because I could only last in the 1000 calorie mark for about six days before I had to bump those calories up. I'm sure he achieved an extreme transformation. If you guys haven't seen that, go ahead, check it out. And I just wanna do a little personal experiment, see how it goes for myself when I am in extreme deficit. Maybe this is something I use every once in a while in a long main gaining or lean bulking process to just trim a little bit of fat and get right back into gaining muscle. But that is my plan. I did this mini cut to see how extreme of a transformation I could get as well as kind of reset my point and then build up on my new kind of like healthier diet, whole food diet, and gain for the next five, six, seven months with another mini cut around summertime. But yeah, I'm sure uh, a single side-by-side -side comparison is enough for you guys. I've been talking a whole lot to the camera. I'm sure you guys are over it. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. That's my two week transformation. Inspired by Shred Bundy, Joe Delaney, by the way, you're my hero. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Peace.